everybody, it's your old pal Rob, and today we're going to be grading the Fantasy Flight um, uh, in-flight report from last night. Um, now, I've watched this twice. I watched it last night, and um, I watched it this morning, and uh, I wanted to make sure that I hit on everything. Now, um, of course, normally they would do it uh, today which is Thursday night, and they would do it at Gen Con, but they're being safe and they're doing everything from Minnesota, uh, along with a lot of people that are being safe and not, not doing anything with Gen Con. And they, they come right out of the gate uh, with, with Descent Legends in the Dark. Now, the guy's sitting there calling it Descent, 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 but they don't call it, but, but, but they don't call it Descent 3. Just, just give in and say it's Descent 3. It's okay. It really is. It's just a different version of Descent, which, okay, you know, it, it, you reimagine something, you're, you're, you're doing something, and you're doing something different, and I just think, you know, at this point, you know, you've got your fan base, and, and, and they're going to follow this game, and, and they come right out of the gate, and they say, hey, Act 2, we've got a lot of great things going on. And uh, they come busting out with, you know, uh, a couple of miniatures, one hidden, uh, and say, Act 2, where, where, you know, as Terroth changes, uh, this is going to build into the storyline. And they're just, they're really working hard. And I really think this is a, a great thing, especially when you have a lot of fans that really enjoyed Descent. You know, it, you know there's been some split between those that like it and those that don't. Hey, that's okay, but them supporting that and sticking to their guns, I think, I think that's a great, great, great thing. And who knows, there might be some improvements in Act Two uh, that that might draw some of those people that are kind of hesitant with it. Uh, present company, company included. So I, I'm keeping open minded on this. I like to see that are important. I th I think that coming out of the gate with this was great. Then when they went into the dice and the mat, I mean, how does that really fit to the game? Uh, they're a nice little pickup, okay, but I, I don't think it's anything that was mind blowing uh, that that needed to be announced with the game. Just kept it to Act Two. I think that was a real um, uh, and and saying that you're going to support it and all the all the content that you have planned and some of the things that you have that you can't expose, but but you're saying, listen, we're we're here for long haul. Great job, great job there. Next, now this is this is where I start to scratch my head a little bit, um, um, uh, because now they 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 bring up. I, I think the second thing was they did bring up the um, uh, unfathomable and how it's going to be late. You cannot fault them, even though people are saying that it's in stores already. I don't know. I, I don't know how true that is, but unfathomable, you know, going to be late because of shipping and all, all the things going on in the world. And, and, and I really feel for uh, them as well as all these other companies that have suffered through just this, just this, this horrible, horrible time we're going through. So you can forgive them for that. But as far as that game's concerned, uh, bringing that game out in this climate where people really don't get together as much i don't know how how well it'll be and it's just a reskin of battlestar galactica we'll see what the changes are it might, might be very 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 good for all we know who knows but for me it's it's just not on my plate so this one you, you know I, I i don't include in my grade of the whole system here uh, of, of the whole show um uh then um, Keyforge uh, was talked about. Uh, this is a game that I said on the Alaboom over a year ago uh, that we will not be talking about this because they were saying, uh, all the guys there, Pete and everybody saying, oh, this is the greatest card game ever. And everybody was hyped up about it. And it just kind of faded away. Now it's going to be put on the shelf for a while. We don't know why. Um, I, I think a, a lot of it has died out but also that they are going to do it in a digital format. Oh, surprising. But um, uh, that you'll actually digitally be able to play this game. Um, I uh, Keyforge, just another, uh, another card game. And it seems they have a lot of card games. 
okay? Uh, I think they're a higher class upper de deck. Uh, maybe that's the wrong way to put it, but uh, Fantasy Flight has a ton of card games and not a ton of board games anymore. You know, it's 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 cards. It's car. You know, this LCG, this LCG, that LCG. You know, there's a lot of it out there, and uh, you know, you like to see some more board games because Fantasy Flight was a board game company. Sure, uh, a couple of these games have been around for a long time, and they're great games. They're better than anything Upper Deck can do. Okay, and they're trying to be a board game company at times, but you know, their card games don't even compare to uh, FFG, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, as far as looking at what they were talking about as far as Arkham Horror, okay, and how they're they're making some advancements with that, um, redoing some of the sets, and, and putting it all into one thing. Because one of the things that used to drive me, not drive me crazy, but if I didn't follow a cycle all the way through, it was impossible to get those missing pieces and then there's no point in playing the cycle and I have plenty of stuff from the Arkham Horror stuff or the or the Lord of the Rings stuff and I'm gonna combine the two of these uh, where they're taking and they're doing some smart things and just putting it all in one box and saying here's this cycle with everything included uh, have at it and I think this is a major great point um, and, 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 and doing some really great things here where Okay, I want to play Dunwich. Okay, great. I can go buy this entire cycle all at once, and I think that's I, I think that's just absolutely glorious, um, because now you got everything in the box, and I'm not worried about what I pay for it, um, and and then trying to keep things contained to six cycles. I, I mean, at six parts to a cycle. Um, now it just comes all in one box, and I think doing that as well as the the uh, redoing the Lord of the Rings things, they're not going to come out with new content, but they are going to recycle uh, the cycles. <laughs> but but I think w the way they're headed with that, I think that's just fantastic. Okay, and I think that's a that's a really really good thing. So I'm excited for that, and and, and looking forward. To, uh, to get my hands on that because a lot of that stuff you can't find anymore and you can't get your hands on it so hey kujos to them for that uh another card game and and, and we seem it seems to be the theme is a lot of card games uh marvel champions which is a very 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 good game they're adding the mad titan they're finishing the mad titan with the vision uh pack and then they're going into a spider-man thing um i'm not big on spider-man never was um, um, I, I think so many games, when you talk about Marvel games, it always focuses on Spider-Man or the X-Men. I would have loved to have seen them go into a Fantastic Four thing or something like that. But, hey, you, you know, that's nitpicking and that's not a big deal. But again, uh, a couple expansions for, Mar um, for Marvel Champions can only lead to good things, especially for all the Spider-Man fans who are going to be so excited to, to be fighting the Sinister Six uh, in many ways. And I think that's a fantastic, fantastic thing. Then from there, um, here's where it got, got a little strange. They got, they go, well, we're going to get, we're going to get away from, um, card games for a bit. And they also, um, announced a, um, Game of Thrones card game. Um, again, you know, Game of Thrones has been over for a while. Uh, it still has its fans. I just don't. Uh, it's just it's just not my thing. And yet another card game. So, you know, here we are. We're waiting for board games. Board games. And they go, okay, now we're going to talk about board games. And the 25th year of, of Twilight Imperium is coming. And, blah, blah. and I'm like, oh, what do we got planned here? Comic books. Graphic novels. If I wanted to read comic books, I'd go to Comic-Con or I'd go to my comic book store. And believe me, I'm a big comic fan. But And, and you know, some of the people that they have working on these, uh, you know, it could be very interesting because it, uh, Dan Abbott, who, who brought Nova back, who's my favorite hero of all time, uh, you could tell by my, my, uh, my email address, Nova Prime 860 um, 
and made him glorious and 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 did so much with the annihilation wave and stuff like that you know really really told a, a, some really great stories um and and you know ron martz and and things like that you know making these books for twilight imperium and i think they were they talked about a couple other things that they were they were going to do but where does comic books fit into fit into this right now okay we want to hear about games okay so from there where i kind of scratched my head i go okay well all right i, I, I want i want board games i want board games all right what are you guys doing there we then go over to r d research and development so now he's this guy starts talking about how they're doing all these things and this that and the other and i'm thinking to myself what does this have to do in the in-flight report unless they just don't have enough to talk about okay and that's what i took from it they were trying to fill air because when i was listening to this guy uh i i, I was i was just looking to the sky thinking about puppy dogs and kitty cats Okay, because I wasn't really, really thinking, you know, none, none of that really meant anything because they're saying about how they go through all this process. And I go, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You're talking about how you go through the process to make all these new games and all these new things and stuff like that. And yet we're having an in-flight report about expansion, expansions, 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 reskin, expansion. Where's the, where, where's the new games? Okay. You know, cut some slack. Again, you know, difficult times. All kinds of things going on. Hard to get together. Hard to brainstorm. Um, according to them, they, they've got some things that, that'll come in the future. Okay, let's let's see. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and let's see what happens. Again, this is a, a negative. It's just, you know, I'm sitting here, you, you know, I, I spent 45 minutes watching this. Waiting and waiting and waiting and, and, and hoping for more, you know, some new board games, some some new ideas, some new things, instead of a ton of expansions. Now, granted, the thing about Descent, very exciting. Uh, what they're doing with all this stuff is very, very good. But where's the new stuff, okay? So, finally, they say they have one more announcement. And I go, wow, here we go. Here it comes, Okay. And yeah, it was a good announcement because it's something people have screamed about forever. And the Outer Rim expansion, uh, it's probably the last in the line of, of things that they're going to have uh, for Star Wars. Uh, because I don't know, but I think I heard that they lost the license or the license went someplace else. Uh, which, okay, neither here nor there. But... Um, a new out rim, uh, outer rim expansion. People are excited about it. Really nice way to end the thing. But when they come back and they do the mic drop, like like they had this great in-flight report, it was solid, but it wasn't mic drop a drop worthy. Okay, and I went, okay, all right. You you, you finally listened and did something that that you should have came out with uh, years ago because. All you're going to do is get this one expansion for Outer Rim. I hope it's great. I hope it's full of stuff. But if you look at everything, um, where's the new board games? Where's the new ideas? You know that the R and D was talking about. You know, and and, and I kind of scratched my head. But on the other hand, everything that they announced was good and solid. Good and solid. And I think they did with this in-flight report. I thought it was a good, solid in-flight report. Mic drop worthy? No. Okay. I don't think anybody was just so blown away by that. I think we were impressed. It shows some progress. And listen, nobody wants Fantasy Flight Games to succeed more than I do. I my my shelves are filled with their stuff. Okay, and I have always, always, always will will it, it's it's just like Games Workshop. I will support them till the end of time. Okay, I want them to do well. But if I don't, if I just don't call it the way I see it, then what's the point? What am I doing? Now this is a negative because my grade of this entire thing. 
I would have to give it it would be an 8-4 or a B plus if we had a, a letter it. Um, it, it, it good solid just workman like um, a job an 8-4 I think is a fantastic uh, a good score uh, if I'm blown away, we're talking about 9.3, 9.2 in there, or A minus is a blow, you know, wow, I'm blow, blown away. A plus, good, solid report. Showing some progress, showing, you know, that you're listening to the fans by giving them the outer rim. Um, you know, uh, you're not going to the other thing uh, that I want to include in there that, that I skipped over was... Um, was journey into middle earth okay uh they're doing one more big box and then that's gone okay so they're going to kill that off that kind of was like oh but we do get more content so you hope that they keep adding content and and campaign and all kinds of different stuff onto that um app um because you know that's one game where i think it it, it draws such a good line where you're concentrated on the things that you're doing in front of you, but the app kind of really adds to it and, and really does does a nice job of keep track of certain things. I'd like to see more of that in in the descent, but you know that's me. But it's sad to see that all go. Okay, uh, that this is the last expansion that they announced, uh, and that that's going to go away. Uh, you're going to be losing uh, Imperial Assault, which is done. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that you're not going to see anymore. But what did they have going forward? And I think that's what's really going to do. And it, it seems like, you know, they're really kind of, you know, you have the Descent game, of course. But also that they're kind, kind of pointing in a direction where they're doing a heck of a lot more card games. Okay. You still got Legends of the Five Rings and and other things that they didn't even mention as far as expansions and stuff like that. But you know, let, let's let's give them a little slack here. These are difficult times. The things that they came out with this in-flight report, and if you remember me saying some time back ago that they needed to have a solid uh, in-flight report, I think this was a solid and good in-flight report. Some head-scratching moments, but a solid B plus workmanlike getting the job done and headed in the right direction in flight report so do you agree or disagree with me that's up to you okay and that's what we have the comments before down below so let me know what you think um that's my wrap up of fantasy flights in flight report for 2021 i hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time it's your old pal rob saying we'll see you soon.